Hey guys, it's Cece, and today I'm here to talk about some of my March favorites. Before we begin, some of you may have noticed that I did not post a favorites video in March to talk about my favorite stuff of February, and I feel like I should explain the fact that I've been feeling kind of creatively stalled when it comes to favorites videos. It just started to feel really formulaic for me. They were videos that took the most time to edit, but that I felt I wasn't getting the most out of. And so when March came around and I went to film my favorites video, I just got really frustrated and decided not to do one, give myself a month. But I'm back because I really like talking about my favorite stuff, but there's gonna be a small change. From now on, I've decided that my favorites videos are going to be just a little less structured. For me, that works a little bit better because it gives me the opportunity to make every month kind of new, which is something I think I want, but also I really like talking about my favorite stuff, so I don't wanna be done with making these videos. So yeah, that's my piece. If you have suggestions for what you would like to see in a favorites video, if you think I need to change things or shift things around, let me know in the comments below, but I just feel like a little less structure, a little more of me being able to talk about whatever I want in my favorites videos, in whatever order I want to talk about them, is going to make me feel a lot more excited to film this video every month. Those are my thoughts. I thought you deserved an explanation. So let's just jump into some of the things that I really loved about March, whether that's stuff I did or saw or anything. Let's talk about it. So if you follow me on Twitter, which you should totally be following me on Twitter, if you do not already, all my social media links are in the description below, but if you follow me on Twitter, then you probably know that in March I started a bullet journal. I had to talk about my bullet journal as a new favorite this month because it has easily become one of my new favorite things. I jumped on the train, I really thought this wasn't going to be my kind of thing, but I wound up loving it. It's just really fun. It's a good way for me to be creative while I also keep track of scheduling and stuff, which I think I needed in my life. I just needed that push to be a little bit more structured and remember what I need to get done each day. I am going to be doing a bullet journal tour in the next week, I believe, so keep an eye out for that. I'm really, really excited excited about it, and I think this is going to be one of my new favorite things of the year. It is just a system that has worked incredibly well for me, so yes, I jumped on the bullet journal train. Keep an eye out for my video because I'm excited to share all about what is going on in here, because there's a whole lot. Next up, I have to talk about a music video, and that is the music video for Sleepover by Hailey Kiyoko. This music video was released in March, and I immediately fell in love with it. Hailey Kiyoko makes a lot of really great queer lady music videos. There are just... it's fabulous. I highly recommend all of them, but Sleepover was the new one in March. It's about Hailey having a sleepover with this girl who is her friend, but she's starting to have these kind of confusing feelings for her that she knows she can't act on, but she's really attracted to her friend. So it's just a music video about how at least she has her friend in her mind, even though she will never cross that line. There is this moment in this music video where Haley is making out with a girl and the camera pans down and the girl she's making out with has incredibly visible stretch marks and I like gasped. It was amazing. These music videos, they're just really visually stunning and Haley Kyoko directs them. They're great and I love Sleepover and I've listened to the song like so many times. I really have fallen in love with Haley Kyoko in the last month. I already liked her for other stuff but this was a good month for Hailey Kiyoko in my book. Since we're talking about visual stuff, I thought I would talk about a channel that I started watching in March and I've just been binge watching videos. Every day I'm watching a video from this channel and that is Rowan Ellis. Rowan Ellis makes a lot of like fandom discussion videos. Her channel in general is described as like queer stuff, feminist stuff, fandom stuff. It's just a lot of really cool discussion videos. Like I said, I feel like I've been watching new ones every single day. There was this great series called the ABCs of LGBT Tropes that I loved and worked my way through. I've also been watching her Something Wicked series, which is about witches and pop culture. She did a video about restricted mode and how queer videos are being more restricted than other videos. Rowan Ellis is the kind of discussion videos that I really would like to do that are just so intelligent and sharp and come across in such an understandable way. I have completely fallen in love with her channel and I'm still digging my way through videos every single day. It's 
please, please go watch Rowan's channel. It's fabulous. So completely apart from the norm for me, I actually got through two shows in the month of March and I wound up loving both of them. So I'm gonna talk about both of them. The first one is American Horror Story Hotel. This is season five. It takes place in California in the present day, somewhere called the Hotel Cortez. It's about a haunted hotel. Lady Gaga is like this blood-sucking goddess and Sexuality is so fluid for the entire show, and I kind of couldn't believe it. Like, if you've ever wondered, what would it be like if Angela Bassett and Lady Gaga had sex on screen? American Horror Story will answer that question for you. Even though the first couple of episodes are a little gross out for me, they weren't my style of horror, as it went on, it wound up being about all of these characters that I was slowly falling completely in love with, and the series ended, and I was like, that was my favorite season of this show ever and possibly one of my favorite shows that I've ever watched. I just got so much out of it, and Lady Gaga was incredible. I want to see her in so many new things. She did an, an amazing job, and I highly recommend American Horror Story if you can handle gore and sex, because that happens copiously in most seasons of American Horror Story. And the other show that I watched for the first time was the first season of Sailor Moon. Yes, I had never before seen Sailor Moon, but I finally did it. It was one of Janelle's favorite shows when she was growing up and she's been begging me to watch it. And finally she got the first couple of seasons on DVD with the new dub. And we watched season one and actually we just finished season two, but we watched season two in April, so I guess I won't talk about it. There was a lot to love here. I was really worried I was only gonna enjoy it for kind of the silliness aspect or just not be quite as into it. But by the time we got to the finale, I found myself incredibly invested in the characters, invested in the friendship, excited to move on to season two. Plus I feel like I need to do a video where I talk about the fact that season one of Sailor Moon and season one of Buffy are like the same show. I'm, I'm going to include it as part of my super outdated discussion series soon to come where I watch shows 20 years too late and then talk about them anyway. No, but really, if you guys want me to talk about it, I would love to do a video about it because that's all I could think for the entire first season of Sailor Moon. So yeah, really loved Sailor Moon. I did not expect to love it as much as I did, but I thought it was fantastic and definitely worth all of the hype that people have been giving it. I get it. I know I was super late. But I get it, guys. Sailor Moon was great. I didn't watch that many movies in March. It mainly came down to movies I was watching for class, but I did go see one new release movie, and that is, of course, Beauty and the Beast. Now, I, as I'm sure you know, was incredibly worried about Beauty and the Beast due to Disney's revelation that there would be the first exclusively gay scene for a Disney movie. And honestly, the way that I enjoyed Beauty and the Beast was to completely 100% ignore that that was an announcement made and ignore that it was a thing happening in the movie because, like, exclusively gay moment. <laughs> okay. And actually, Rowan Ellis has a video about gay rep in Beauty and the Beast, if you want to go watch it, because she hit the nail on the head. But if we ignore what happened there, I actually think that Beauty and the Beast did a pretty good job. It's one of my favorite Disney movies, and I was excited to see it brought to life. I thought it was really, really magical and beautiful to look at. I thought Emma Watson did a pretty good job. She's so pretty. Like, Emma Watson's so beautiful. So it was kind of a perfect fit for her, but the movie ended and I was kind of like, Emma Watson's so pretty. And Luke Evans, who played Gaston, made that character come to life so strongly. You could tell how thrilled Luke Evans was to be a part of this movie. And I think that that's what came across the most for me, is that you could tell how much excitement everyone had as they were making this movie. You could tell that they were thrilled to be playing these roles, and I think that that excitement came across, and it was really infectious. So kind of unexpected for me, I was really starting to lose hope with the Beauty and the Beast movie, but I wound up really enjoying it, which is not something I thought that I would say. So as far as mixing up my favorites videos goes, I thought that I would add kind of a new section in here sometimes, and that is clothing. I want to talk about some of my favorite new clothes that I got in March and then like immediately wore. And the first thing is these boots from Forever 21. So I have really wanted ankle boots. I honestly, I know that everyone owns ankle boots, but I didn't own any. So when I saw these at Forever 21 when I was shopping, I knew I had to have them. I love the shiny toe. It's so great. Plus they're really pointed, which I appreciate. Um, they fit really nicely, which is rare for me for boots. And they just, 
I put them on and I knew that they were going to be mine. Now the thing about clothing is, I think if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you may have noticed that I like collared button downs. I wear them always. So I wanted to show you two of the ones that I bought in March, because I, I bought more than two, um, and talk about them a little bit more, but I'll be honest with you, both of these have already made debuts in videos, so <laughs> I get a new shirt and I'm immediately like, gotta film in it, new shirt, gotta be in a video. The first shirt is also from Forever 21 and it is this red one, it is a short sleeve, um, collared shirt. I have been really into these really graphic kind of cut off short sleeve button downs on Pinterest. I've been obsessively pinning them to my style board and so I saw it and I was kind of like that looks like kind of a cool version of a Hawaiian dad shirt which is exactly what I want so this wound up being perfect for me. I'm in love with it. I'm so in love with it. This is like my style present and in the world, and I'm so glad that I bought it. Other shirt is also a short sleeve collared button down shirt, and that is this one. It is a bit more floral, much, much lighter. The fabric is so soft on this. I actually got this at a secondhand store over spring break. It's originally by Della's, but it was just in a little secondhand shop, and it's so beautiful. I think it's perfect for spring. It's got, you know, this lovely blue and the green and the purple. The color scheme is just perfect for spring, and so I've been wearing this a ton already, and it's already been in a video. I just, like I said, that this style of shirt is my favorite right now. So, huge fan of both of these collared shirts and those boots. They've been great additions to my wardrobe this spring. So the really cool thing about March is that it was my birthday in March. On the 21st, I turned 22. Oh, and I wanted to talk about a couple of the birthday gifts that I got. I didn't get a ton of gifts for my birthday from my family. I tend to just ask for money because I need uh, money. I'm in college. But my girlfriend, Janelle, I've already said her name in this video, got me some stuff that I wanted to talk about, and a different friend of mine got me something that I wanted to talk about, so the first thing is something that Janelle got me, and it is this Funko Pop over here. So Janelle got me Elliot the Funko Pop. This is a six inch Funko Pop of Elliot from Pete's Dragon. I have been talking about wanting him ever since he was first announced because Pete's Dragon was um, one of my favorite Disney movies when I was a kid. I've kind of grown past it being a favorite, but it is still just such a solid thing in my memory that I adore. And since the new movie came out, I had no interest in seeing the live action movie, but it did mean that they made a six inch Elliot Funko Pop, which is perfect. I love to set him next to Janelle's six inch Smaug Funko Pop because I think, I mean, they're both dragons, but they look hysterical next to one another. Like, could you have two different fictional dragons? But Janelle hit the nail on the head with this one. It's perfect. Plus, how nicely does it match my little spring display back here with my pink flowers? Like... Hmm. The other Funko Pop I got for my birthday came from my lovely, lovely friend, Rachel, and I am so happy about this, and it is the McGonagall Funko Pop from the Harry Potter collection. So obviously Rachel knows I collect Funko Pops, and I am so glad that this is the one that I got because I've still been working on collecting the third run of the Harry Potter collection, and McGonagall is one of my all-time favorites in the series. I love the detailing that she has on her coat. It's like a really rough texture, which is cool, and I love that she looks like she's scolding you, even in Funko Pop form. I adore McGonagall, and she looks so great on my shelves next to the rest of the Harry Potter Funko Pops that I have here. Thank you, Rachel. Of course I love her. I mean, I already told you I loved her, but now I'm telling you again. I love her. So Janelle got me a couple of other things, like she got me some supplies for my bullet journal because she could tell after like a week and a half that I was super into it and I needed nicer supplies, so. I got nicer supplies, but the other thing that she got me besides that is this collection of Scooby-Doo movies. Now, Janelle and I adore Scooby-Doo, like, so hardcore, and our goal is to eventually own all of the iterations of Scooby-Doo on DVD and have, like, a massive Scooby-Doo collection. So last year for my birthday, or was it Valentine's Day? 
I don't remember. She gave me the box set of the first two seasons of the original Scooby-Doo TV show, which I've always wanted to own on DVD. And this year, she got me this box set of these four movies. And this is Scooby-Doo and the Legend of the Vampire, which is amazing because the Hex Girls are in it. Scooby-Doo in Where's My Mummy, which I've seen, but Janelle apparently hasn't. And then neither of us have seen Scooby-Doo and the Samurai Sword or Scooby-Doo and the Legend of the Phantasaur. We haven't seen either of those bottom two, but it was an essential part of extending our Scooby-Doo collection, and this was like ridiculously exciting. I... <laughs> Someday I'm gonna have to do like a Scooby-Doo collection tour because truly the collection is expanding quickly. And the last thing that I want to talk about is a webcomic. And I think if you've been watching my videos for the past month, I feel like at this point you can guess it. That webcomic is Check Please by Ngozi Ukazu, I believe. It's a webcomic that got started on Tumblr. It is amazing and I got so obsessed so fast. It's about this guy named Eric Biddle. He is a little ball of southern joy and I love him. It's essentially a hockey comic, but also Biddy is the narrator. He does it through like vlogs and stuff. That's how you see the webcomic. And then there's a great romance because Biddy is gay and it makes my heart light on fire. Like I can't, e I cannot explain to you how deeply I fell for this comic and how quickly I grew so obsessed. And now I am sad because I'm caught up and updates are few and far between. But I'm currently riding high right now because it got updated like a week ago and I'm so happy it got updated. Seriously, it's adorable, it's fun, it's... <laughs> Biddy is my sweet southern baking child and I highly recommend that you go and read it and join me in sadness as you wait for each update that's so long apart. Okay guys, that's it for main favorites. I hope you enjoyed. However, wait, hold up one second. If you are interested in hearing some of the music that's been my favorite that I've been listening to in the month of March, check a link in the description. You can go and check out my Spotify playlist. So that's all I'll be doing music from now on. I'm going to be creating monthly Spotify playlists and I will leave the links to those playlists in the description of my favorites videos every month. I hope that you enjoy listening to the music and listening to the music I've been listening to for the previous month. There are some ones on there that I beg I've just been listening to on repeat constantly. Okay, so that's it now. Those are all of my favorites for the month of March. I hope that you enjoyed watching. What were some of your favorite things in the month of March? Let me know in the comments below. What were you reading or watching or seeing? Watching and seeing are the same. What did you think of some of my favorites? Leave that in the comments below as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in another video very soon. Bye!